This is the DJI Mavic Pro controller. And this is the DJI Mavic Pro controller unfolded. Let me show you how I did that. To get your DJI Mavic Pro controller set up and ready to fly, you need to hook it up to a smartphone like an iPhone or an Android. So what you do is, is you simply unfold the left side, unfold the right side, and right here inside the left side, it already has the iPhone port um, that will easily connect your iPhone to it. It comes with the ones that are like the micro USB or whatever um, charging um, mechanism or input that the Androids take. Um, so you can change that out as well. So anyways, let's get the iPhone um, seated in here. I have an iPhone 7 Plus. So what we'll do is, is we'll open it up pretty wide. Uh, take the bottom of the iPhone 7 Plus or whatever your smartphone is you're using and um, get it to plug in to that uh, part there that it plugs into and then you just kind of um, conform these sides into I'm sorry about the reflection from my light guys let me tilt it up for you there we go but you um, you kind of just you know make it fit good and snug and so right there and then of course you will flip up your antenna Major thing is you just kind of want them pointing straight up and you don't want them pointed in at each other like so. You want them more spread out like that from what I understand. And so anyways, so now the controller is all spread apart and um, you're ready to uh, hook it up to the, um, to the Mavic itself and uh, take it for a spin. However, let's just get a little bit closer to this remote and I'm going to kind of want to show you guys I'm going to spin it around and show you every single button um, that's on it. And uh, again, the purpose of this video is just to, uh, you know, kind of an in-depth, up close and personal look at the controller itself. I'm going to take the phone off, but you guys have seen it with the antenna spread and the phone seated. So let's do that now. So here's my ugly hand and here is the DJI Mavic Pro controller in my hand. As you can see how small it is. Um, this controller is really heavy duty, feels really nice. Uh, doesn't feel cheap, light and plasticky. You can tell it's made really nice and well. Um, let's get in closer guys. Let's get in closer and let's check this thing out. So you already know this is your left joystick here that's ascend, descend, and left and right will actually spin your drone. Shifting over here to the right joystick that's what goes forward, backwards, left, right, and then of course if um, you're, the camera's facing you, the orientation is flipped, so left becomes right, right becomes left, up becomes backwards, and down becomes forward. So anyways, um, those are the sticks. And then here on the front you have the pulse flight button, and I believe mainly what that is used for is like when you're doing waypoints, um, flight pattern, um, flights such as that and uh, for whatever reason if you want to stop just hover you can hit that pause for whatever reason while you're doing your waypoints and um, you know and then hit it again to resume the flight and then of course here on the upper left you have the RTH which is the return to home button um, pretty cool you don't have to use the DJI Go app you still can but um, it's set up to where you can just hit it right there simply on the remote so that's really cool really handy um, now on the other side, just opposite of that, we have the power button. We all know what that does. And of course on these, um, on the pretty much the Phantoms and the Mavics, on all of them, to um, start them up, you press once, short press, and then long press until it comes on. And you hear the beeps, and of course you see here where it says connecting. So it's looking for the uh, drone to be powered on so it can connect to it. So we'll turn that off real quick. Just the same thing to shut it down, short press, then long press until it beeps. Okay, so that pretty much takes care of the um, front of the controller. Um, honestly, there is this button right here, but I have not had a chance to figure out exactly what that is. Um, I'll put a link in the description that has information on that. Okay, so now, Let's turn this remote up like this. Will you stay on your own like that? If you would, I'd appreciate it. Yes, you will. Awesome. Okay, shifting the remote over to the left, here on the left side on the top. As you can see, you have your gimbal wheel. Um, as you can see, you have your gimbal wheel here. 
And obviously what that does is that changes the pitch of your gimbal. So when your drone's up in the air, whether you want to shoot straight ahead or if you want to tilt it all the way down, it can actually um, show you, you know, your view from right above you and pointing straight down, but you can also tilt it up and do 45 degree. So that's pretty cool. That's what that is. You just simply, you uh, go to the left or up, which will take it up. So anyways, that's all that is, that gimbal wheel. And then of course, and then right here, this is a really cool feature. It's your record for your, um, for your video. So instead of having to push the record button, start, stop on the DJI Go app, you can simply do it right there by pressing that. So I love that, I think that's awesome. Now let's shift over to the right side. Here on the right side of the controller, you have just the opposite of the left side. Left side does video, right side, photos. You know, again, really, really cool. Um, instead of having to, you know, hit the uh, shutter button, so to speak, on the uh, DJI Go app, uh, you can just click, boom, take your photo. Really awesome, cool stuff. And then we have a, a, a new wheel on this side and it doesn't um, behave like the one on the left side. The left one will only let you, you know, wheel over so far to the left, so far to the right. This thing will spin all the way. And I believe that is customizable, meaning you can program it or set it to do pretty much um, a few different functions. I think ISO is one of the main ones. It may be the default, I'm not sure. But you know, changing your ISO, your brightness, um, so you can change that real quick. If the shot looks too dark, you can brighten it up by changing the ISO by, you know, wheeling that bad boy. So that's really cool. You can also do more with that. Now, let's turn the remote over. Okay, on the back of this, as you can see, we have two buttons. I believe they call these C1 and C2. Um, but anyways, these are also, I believe, customizable um, to where you can do different things with them. Um, so I, as a matter of fact, like, I think one of them can be programmed as like a center focus. Sorry about that, guys. Somebody sent me a text message. But as I was saying, I believe, you know, it could be set as a centered focus. So instead of just tapping in the center um, on your DJI Go app, you can just click it and it'll boom, it'll automatically center focus. 90% sure I'm correct on that. And then on the other side, it's just another button that, uh, again, you could program it or set it to do what you want it to do. I haven't even had this thing long enough to know what the defaults are, but um, I'll put an, I'll put also put a link on the C1 and C2 buttons um, below. So um, again, guys, look for links below this video um, after you hit that subscribe button, hopefully. <laughs> but anyways, um, look for links below with more information on C1 and C2 buttons and um, the other features as well as talking about. But anyways, guys, um, I appreciate you checking out my DJI Mavic Pro controller video. Um, just got up close and personal. And um, anyways, please hit subscribe. Um, I'm going to have all kinds, as I've, as I've alluded to in the past couple of DJI Mavic Pro videos that you've seen. Um, there's a lot more to come. I'm going to do every single intelligent flight mode. Um, we're going to do all kinds of fun stuff with this DJI Mavic Pro, all kinds of tutorials, doing a whole series on them. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make a playlist on my channel called the DJI Mavic Pro series. So anyways, guys. Sure would appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Um, lots of good stuff coming up. I appreciate you guys so much for checking out the videos. And now I'm gonna leave you with some even more up close shots of the controller. Have a good one, guys. One thing that I did forget, guys, is right here on the right side of the controller, you have what is known as the sport mode button, um, which it puts the Mavic into sport mode, which will allow it to fly up to, I believe, around 40 miles per hour. So that just toggles um, sport mode on and off. Now let's get to the other close-up shots that I was talking to you about.